Hello and thank you for watching this video explaining how to use the advanced search in forestplots.net. So first log in. Okay, so if we go to the plots section of forest plots, once you've logged in, here you'll find a list of all of the plots that you have access to and it's called my plots and this is what the advanced search runs on. It runs on your my plots. Okay, and then if we click here, you can easily see what all the different icons mean. So the advanced search is this magnifying glass icon. So click this to open the advanced search. So within the advanced search, uh, a general user will have access to these five different tabs. So they can download their data um, from my plots using these five different options. So the first is looking at taxonomy, the second is looking at the individual trees, the third is looking at photos of, the, of any samples that have been uploaded, the fourth are the vouchers, so um, any vouchers collected from, from the trees we found here, and the fifth is the plots, so that's the metadata. Okay, so before we start looking at these different search parameters, the most important things to mention are down here at the bottom of each of the five tabs. So we've got two drop-down boxes. The first of these drop-down boxes has two options, main plot view or preferred plot view. A plot view is a snapshot of plot data created by the plot database manager to exclude or include certain subplots, censuses, minimum diameter, families, genus. And it's useful if a plot has experienced a change in protocol over the time that it's been remeasured. The main plot view contains all data with no restrictions. The preferred plot view is the plot view that the plot database plot database manager has identified as the preferred plot view for any analysis and therefore for this reason we re always recommend using the preferred plot view for download downloading data from the advanced search. If you have any questions regarding this, regarding plot views or making sure that the preferred plot view is suitable for your analysis then get in touch with us at admin at forestplots.net. Okay, so that's plot views. The second of these drop down boxes has three options. So last census, only downloading data from the last census in our my plots list, only downloading the first census or downloading all censuses. So if we're looking at growth, long-term data, multi-census data, we obviously need to select this all censuses option. Okay, so now let's have a look at the search parameters. So we're just in taxonomy at the moment. Um, this middle column here is our geographical reference column. We have to enter at least one parameter here in order for the advanced search query, advanced search to run. So perhaps I want to look at all of my plots in my plots in Peru. Perhaps I only want to look at a couple of my plots within Peru. So maybe I only want to look at these two plots. Now, if I wanted to download all of the taxonomy data from these two plots, I would click search. But if I wanted to refine the search more, could, for example, enter a genus. Then once you're happy with your search parameters, what, what sort of data you want to download, click search. And then here are the results. And we've got the option to save as CSV or save as Excel. So just click those to download the data. Okay. 
and the first page of the first worksheet of the downloaded file will contain a list of all of the column headers and a description of, of what they are. And then within the data worksheet is the actual data. Okay, so now let's go to another tab, so the individuals tab. It's saved the same search parameters. This time I want to look at all of my data within these two plots, not just restricted to a genus. Um, again, checking that the preferred plot view is selected and all censuses. When I'm happy with my search parameters, I click search. Okay, here are the results. I can save them in Excel again. Open. So as before, there's a the first worksheet explaining what the data actually means and then the data can act actually be found in the data worksheet. So whereas the taxonomy tab was just looking at the taxonomy of the data in the search parameters, the individuals tab gives a list of all of the individual trees and the census data according to our search parameters. One thing to mention here is that if you intend to do some analysis using the BMASA FPR package, then this is the advanced search data that you need to download, the advanced search individuals. So again, the same with the photos. Maybe I want to restrict it by genus again. Just look at the ingenus within these plots in my My Plots list. So here are the results, here are all of the photos of samples of this genus uploaded in these plots. So there's options to search for only the metadata, so that would, wouldn't take as long to do that search or with the actual photos themselves. And then you can save the metadata as a CSV or Excel, and you can also save the images. I'll show you what the metadata looks like. Here we are. Again, the definitions are in the first worksheet and the data is in the second. And to download the images, Click here. And here are the photos. And it includes a CSV file. It's also possible to click on each of these individual photos to have a closer look here. Move across. And it's possible to download individual photos if you're not wanting them all. Okay, so that's photos. Vouchers. So just looking at the voucher code numbers and the taxonomy rather than the photos as well. I use the same search parameters. And here are the results. Within the results window, it also tells you if there's a photograph associated with each voucher code. And the final option in the advanced search is plots. So we've got the same geographical referencing and the option to look for plot codes. 
we've also got other metadata search options. So maybe we only want to look at the moist plots in Peru in my, in my plots. Click search and here are the results. Save as Excel or CSV. And here is the downloaded file listing all of the plots in my plots that are a moist plot within Peru, all the metadata. Okay, so that was a quick introduction to the advanced search. If you've got any questions regarding this, please just contact us at admin at forestplots.net. Um, good luck with downloading your data. Thank you.